क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल ए फेयर रेड स्पिनर हैज फोर साइड ए फेयर रेड स्पिनर हैज फोर साइड नंबर वन टू थ्री थ्री रेड स्पिनर नंबर वन टू थ्री थ्री ए फेयर ब्लू स्पिनर हैज थ्री साइड नंबर माइनस वन जीरो टू वेन अ स्पिनर इज स्पन द स्कोर इज द नंबर ऑन द साइड ऑन विच इट लैंड द स्पिनर आर स्पन एट द सेम टाइम बोथ स्पिनर रेड स्पिनर एंड ब्लू स्पिनर आर स्पन एट द सेम टाइम द रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स डिनोट द स्कोर ऑन द रेड स्पिनर माइनस द स्कोर ऑन द ब्लू ब्लू स्पिनर सो वी मे टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स स्कोर ऑन द रेड स्पिनर माइनस स्कोर ऑन द ब्लू स्पिनर हाउ वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्कोर ऑन द रेड स्पिनर माइनस स्कोर ऑन द ब्लू स्पिनर ड्रा अप द प्रोबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल फॉर एक्स तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर ड्राइंग द प्रोबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल फॉर एक्स फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड ऑल द पॉसिबल आउटकम्स so so far this to find all the possible outcomes we have to draw a possibility diagram so so is possibility diagram will be we will make a table there are two spinners of red color and blue color red spinner blue spinner red spinner has number 1 2 3 3 there are four numbers on the red spinner so we need these four columns so we will write here minus because the value of x you know the score on the red spinner minus score on the blue spinner on the red spinner these are the numbering 1 2 3 three. so we write one two three three on the blue spinner minus 1 0 Two. There are three numbers. Minus one, zero, two. So here we will write the possible outcomes. Score will be uh, um, the value with the random variable x denotes the score on the red spinner minus score on the blue. Spinner. So we will write here the possible outcomes in this area. Red minus blue. One minus one that is two. So so we write here two two minus minus one that is three. Write here three 
in the same way 3 minus 0 uh, 3 minus minus 1 that is 4 we write here 4 2 3 4 next again 4 no 1 minus 0 that is 1 next is 1 uh, 2 minus 0 that is 2 next is 3 next is also 3 next is 1 minus 2 that is negative 1 2 minus 2 that is 0 2 minus 2 that is 0 3 minus 2 that is 1 3 minus 2 that is 1 3 minus 2 that is 1 so these are possible outcomes written in black these are the possible outcomes these can be the values of x so, so now we can draw the probability distribution table for x by using by taking help from this possibility diagram these are the possibilities these can be the values of x so, so probability distribution table is this is x now this is the probability of x we are making a table now x can take these values in order minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 x can take these values minus 1 0 2 3 4 so, so we are writing here minus 1 x, x can take uh, value minus 1 0 from the above possibility diagram x can take these values minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 now we write here the probabilities against each number what is the probability of minus 1 minus 1 Total possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, minus the probability of minus 1 is minus 1 is only 1. Minus 1 in this possibility diagram is only for one time. So, 1 over total is 12. So, so we write here the probability that is 1 over 1 over 12. Probability of 0 is one, again 0 is only one time 1 over 12 1 over 12 is the probability of 0 now probability of 1 is 1 2 3 3 over 12 so we write here 3 over 12 probability of in the same way probability of 2 is 1 2 2 over 12 Probability of 3, 3 is uh, 3 times 3 over 12, 3 over 12, next uh, at the last 4, probability of 4 is 2 over 12, so, so we write here 2 over 12.
Now we will check if the uh, probability distribution table is correct or not. We will add these probabilities. We get we must have uh, one. Three plus two five plus two seven plus three ten plus one eleven plus one twelve over twelve. This means that uh, pro sum of probability is one. This means that this probability distribution table is correct. Okay, next. part of this question is uh, part second we have to find the variance of x variance of x means the spreadness of x variance of x is the uh, scale of standard deviation but in this chapter we have a, a special formula to find the variance of x the formula for variance of x will be variance of x this is a formula in this chapter variance of x will be e x square minus e x whole square in this formula e x mean e x shows the mean of x X, e for expected expected value of x expected value of x or mean of x the same e x shows the mean value of the variable x so, so in because uh, e x is involved in this formula so first we will find e x expected value of x the so formula for e x is expected value of x is summation x into px now x into px product of we will now we will find the product of x and px and we will take the sum so so we are taking help from this probability distribution table this is a, these are the values of x these are the values of px multiplying and adding minus 1 into 1 over 12 plus 0 into 1 over 12 plus 1 into 3 over 12 plus 2 over 2 over 12 in the same way 3 into 3 over 12 plus 4 into 2 over 12 so we get mean so we are writing here mean px will be minus 1 over 12 x into px plus 0 plus 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12 Plus nine over twelve, plus eight over twelve. We get this from the above table. Multiplying x and p x and adding, we get this. Now simplifying it, we get e x will be twenty three over twelve. now actually we have to find the variance of x now this is formula for variance of x uh, in this formula ex we have find we have found uh, just now 23 over 12 this is the value of x we will take square in this formula now but uh, still we have to find ex square in the same way just like this we can find ex square So first we find e x square. This is the formula for e x square. E x square we can find in this way summation of x square into p x. So we can find e x square from the above table.
सो वी नीड नो एक्स केयर तो वी फाइंड एक्स केयर अगेंस्ट ईच वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फर्स्ट इन द सेम टेबल we will find x square scaling each value of x we write here x square square of minus 1 that is plus 1 we write here plus 1 square of 0 is 0 square of 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 square of 4 is 16 no we will multiply x square and px and will take sum 1 multiplied by 1 over 12 plus 0 into 1 over 12 plus 1 into 3 over 12 and so on so we are writing here x square into px summation of x square into px we get we get 1 over 12 plus 0 plus 3 over 12 plus 8 over 12 plus 27 over 12 plus 32 over 12 okay now we will simplify it after simplifying this we get 71 over 12 this is the value of 71 over 12 is the value of ex square and the value of ex is 23 over 12 now we are putting these values of ex and ex square in this formula formula of variance then we have variance is equal to formula for what we are writing again the variance of x variance of x e x square minus e x whole square putting the values of ex square and ex in this formula we get seventy one over twelve minus twenty three over twelve here after simplifying we get the answer is 2.24 correct to 3 significant figure this is the final answer